This exercise is lunge jumps. What we're going to be looking at is lunge. So reverse lunge. Let's have a look at that position. The main thing that we want out of this is we want to get as much share over the whole leg as possible. Um, glutes and thighs. And what we, what I mean by that is what we want to avoid is being over the ball of the foot here and lent forward so that just all of this little area of thigh muscle around the knee does loads and loads of work. So that's something we're going to try to avoid. And um, you do see this quite a lot when people are lent forward. It's because there's a lot of balance in the ball of the foot, so the body goes there. What we want is to quite smoothly end up in the position where directly after landing, which you will do, you will land really using the ball of the foot because there's a lot of balance there. But directly after landing, we want you to settle down into this better lunge position. And that means that your weight distribution is just going to flow back kind of over into your whole foot. Good upright position here. And then if you look at the lunge, then our weight is distributed back a bit. So we're not over the front of the foot. We flowed back. Weight's distributed so that we've got a good heel and the whole thigh can kind of play the game. Um, so that's our lunge position. In the lunge jump, what we're really going to be doing is going from position A to B. So just side to side. Um, the jump bit, we can call that explosive. It's called plyometrics. Um, most important thing about the jump is actually uh, the explosive part isn't from the bottom. When you first land, you have like a deceleration. Um, you don't want that to be a hard landing and then down. It should be quite smooth. So it's quite a gentle sort of deceleration. And as I've said, as part of that, you're also going to be kind of flowing back off of the ball of the foot where a lot of your landing took place into a kind of better position where you've got the whole foot down. Let's decelerate like a kind of slow, sort of elastic stretching to sort of bring you to a stop, um, nice and gentle. And on the way back up, you don't explode from the bottom. That's where you would kind of maybe hurt your groin or so. But the initial movement is that change in elastic direction. So you kind of decelerate, and then as you change direction, that should have a reasonably gentle flow to it. And any real pop or explosiveness is just a little bit higher up, actually. Yeah, so you should have this sort of sense of ebb and flow. You kind of uh, decelerate into the bottom of the lunge jump, arrest your movement, start to move back the other way, and then the explosiveness is a bit later. Yeah. You see that same thing in lots of movements. So you see it in an explosive press up to protect the shoulders, even in uh, Olympic lifting. When you first come off the floor, it's a smooth movement, and it's only really when joints are in a better position great sense of alignment that explosiveness pops in. Same thing with the lunge jump, is you can protect your muscles, don't get explosive or hard, um, no hard stops, no explosion from the bottom. It's a nice sort of smooth movement. You can just really manage that moment of decelerate, accelerate at the bottom. Yeah, flow back over the whole foot, get the weight distributed so that your pelvis, your whole thigh can play. Stay away from being all over the front. Uh, and all that stuff about weight distribution and where the work is, that goes hand in hand with the explosiveness that gives you the pop, the real power behind it, just a little bit later and not at the very bottom.